Hello everyone. Welcome once again to Aviation Math Classes. Let us look at the question. Question 2. The angle between true great circle track and the true rum line track joining the following points that is A which is 60 degrees south and 165 degrees west and B 60 degrees south 177 degrees east at the place of departure A is and the options are as given. Now let us understand the question. The question is saying what is the angle between the true great circle track and the true lump track, track joining the following point that is A and we have the rum line track which is going straight. This is the rum line track and this is the great circle track. What is this angle at point A is what we have to find out. So before we proceed with this question to solve this question first thing we need to find out what is the change in longitude. So change in longitude is between A to 180 degrees east west is 15 degrees that is 180 minus 165. So this is 15 degrees and from 180 degrees east west to 177 degrees east is 3 degrees that is 180 minus 177 3 degrees. So total chalong we have is total chalong or change in longitude is equal to 18 degrees. We know that convergence is equal to chalong into sine mean latitude. We have chalong as 18 degrees and latitude at 60. So sine into sine 60 will give us a convergence value of 15.58 degrees. Now what does this convergence mean? This convergence means that this angle which you are leaving at A and this angle would differ by 15.58 degrees. The angle between the rum line track and the great circle track, the rum line track and the great circle track is called the conversion angle which is equal to half convergency. What did we have as convergency? 15.58 was the convergence. Convergency was 15.58 degrees divided by 2 will give us 7.78, approximately 7.8 degrees. So this angle will be 7.8 degrees. Therefore, the answer to the question that is the angle that is made between the true great circle track and the true rum line track at point A is option C which is 7.8 degrees. <laughs>